Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Walk In Truth, Home Educators versus James River High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl Miller. This is Battle of the Brain, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Today we're kicking off the new season of competition. Battle of the Brains, of course, welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Knights of the Square Table of Walk in Truth Home Educators, coached by Mandy Renfro and Cindy Beasley. A faith-based cooperative, the Walk in Truth Home Educators team is made up of homeschool students from across the Metro Richmond area. Today's competitors are of high school level. Also with us today, the Rapids of James River High School, coached by Ross Haynes and Jim Young. You'll find James River High School in Midlothian, which is the section of Chesterfield County, just south of Richmond. With a student body of approximately 2,000, it's been recognized by the U.S. Department of Education as a school of excellence. And it's great to have all of these students here with us today as we kick off this new season of battle. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players who wish to answer will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, let's go with the first toss-up round. What actor portrayed Jason Bourne in the thrillers The Bourne Identity mm -hmm. and The Bourne Supremacy? Gabriel. Matt Damon. That is correct. Bill Belichick is the longtime coach of which NFL franchise? Mm -hmm. Gabriel. Celtics. That is incorrect. Walk in truth? Mm -hmm. Lucas? Jets. It would be the New England Patriots. The post-World War II Nuremberg trials were held in which country? Mm -hmm. Harry. Germany? Correct. Who was the Vice President of the United States under Andrew Johnson? Gabriel. John Tyler. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Lucas? Zachary Taylor. Actually, it was no one. Johnson assumed the presidency after the Lincoln assassination. There was no process in place at the time to fill a vice presidential vacancy. Name the well-known country singer who starred in the 2009 movie The Blind Side and the Yellowstone prequel 1883 alongside his wife, Faith Hill. Gabriel. Billy Ray Cyrus. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. And that would be Tim McGraw. The son of Pepin the Short, he presided over the Carolingian Harry. Is this Emperor Charlemagne? That is correct. In French, this class of word includes du, which implies an unknown quantity of the modified word. Latin and Russian don't have them at all, while Hebrew has definite ones, but not indefinite ones. Name this word class, including English, an, and the. Mm -hmm. Leah. Articles. Correct. A modern sequel that takes the title character of this poem to the South Pole was written by Nikos Kazantakis. Name this epic that follows the husband of Penelope on his return to Ithaca after the Trojan War. Harry. Is this the Odyssey? That is correct. Mombasa, the island and the city, is located in what former British East African colony? Simeon. India. That is incorrect. James River. Gabriel. Gibraltar. It's actually in Kenya. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. How is this number, 0 0.5700, written in scientific notation? Lucas. 5.7 times 10 to the negative 1. That is correct. The basis of this lies in materials that are transparent to incoming visible light but absorb and re-emit infrared light. The glass of namesake mm -hmm. horticulture structures, Lorelei. Prism. That is incorrect. I'll finish for walk in truth. The glass of namesake horticulture structures as well as atmospheric water vapor and carbon dioxide are responsible for what warming effect? Asher. The greenhouse effect? That is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brunch Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, <laughs> and you must wait until the question is completed before you buzz in. Name the 19th century art movement which encouraged painting outdoors in natural light and the elimination of black from the color palette. 
Lorelai. Impressionism. That is correct. The second time Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan, he was addressing this man who was appalled that Jesus would allow himself to be executed. Name this leader of the 12 apostles. Mm -hmm. Harry. Is this Peter? That is correct, St. Peter. A planar molecule with molar mass 78 is unusually stable. Name this molecule the prototype for aromatic molecules which has six-membered ring. And that would be benzene. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far. Up next, we'll introduce you to them, and then they'll take on the category round as Battle of the Brains continues. Stay with us. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Walk in Truth Home Educators with 20 points and our team from James River High School with 60 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. First, we'll start with our team from Walk in Truth Home Educators. They're coached by Cindy Beasley and Crystal Hopkins. They are the Knights of the Square Table. First up is Asher. Asher Bishop is a freshman. He's middle out of three siblings, enjoys mountain biking, photography, and Legos. Favorite subjects are Latin and debate. Next up is Simeon Leisinger, who is a sophomore who enjoys playing soccer, loves trivia, and has six siblings, five sisters, and a brother. Next up is Lucas Beasley, who's a senior, says he's a huge Star Wars fan, enjoys speed cubing with the Rubik's Cube. Favorite math, subject is math, specifically calculus, and plans to go to Liberty University. And wrapping up our team from Walk in Truth Home Educators, Kendon Hopkins, who is a junior, who enjoys blacksmithing, ballroom dance, and playing the guitar, plans to double major in Mandarin and form relations in college. Welcome to our Walk in Truth Home Educators team. Now let's meet our team from James River High School. They are coached by Ross Haynes and Jim Young. They are the Rapids. First up is Leah Buckley, who is a sophomore who enjoys math, science, and literature, is a member of the speech team and chorus, and loves playing with her dogs Dash and Bodie. Our team captain is Harry Mayer Mora, who is a senior, who is a member of the James River Marching Band, is on the drum line and wants to get a degree in history. Next up is Gabriel Mayer Mora. He is a senior, enjoys playing soccer and collecting DVDs, hopes to work in the film industry, and you may notice the two are twins. And wrapping up our team is Lorelai Wall, who is a senior, who enjoys painting, reading, and speech, and plans to major in art history. And a big welcome to our team from James River High School as well. Now we'll get to our category round where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they will receive a 20 point bonus. Teams, take a look. Here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are nations and their neighbors, earth sciences and first names and occupations. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for their team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. And by the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category, so that is James River. Harry, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. I can help with the occupations. I, I trust you to just do this. first name occupations even? I, I think that's a bit too risky. I think we should probably do nations. All right, Harry, I need a decision. Um, nations and their neighbors. All right. There are currently just 10 non-island nations which share a land border, but with a single neighbor from the clues, identify them. Canada. Oh, the U.S. Correct. The Vatican. Oh, Italy. Correct. San Marino. Pass. Oh, sorry, pass. That is also Italy. Qatar along the Persian Gulf. Saudi Arabia. Correct. South Korea. Uh, North Korea. Correct. Monaco. Uh, France. Correct. Gambia. Uh, 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 sorry, pass. That would be Senegal. Denmark. Uh, Belgium. Germany. Lesotho. Yeah, uh, pass. South Africa. And Portugal. Uh, Spain. That is correct. Good job on that category. You know your world map. Good for you. All right, Walk in Truth Home Educators. 
Uh, it will either be Earth Sciences or First Names and Occupations. Lucas, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. All right, Lucas? Earth Sciences. All right, given the description, name the scientific discipline. The first is study of water on or within the ground. Pass. Hydrology. Study of volcanoes. Volcanology. Correct. Study of oceans. Oceanology. Oceanography. Study of the atmosphere and weather. Meteorology. Correct. Study of climate. Climatology. Correct. Study of the physical properties of the Earth's crust. Geology. Correct. Or geophysics. Study of fossil record. Paleontology. Correct. Study of the age of rocks and fossils. Archaeology. That would be geochronology. Study of making and using maps. Cartography. Cartography is correct. And finally, study of crystals and the chemical composition of rocks. Geology. That would be mineralogy. All right, good job on your category as well. Both of our teams did well. Up next, we'll have another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains, so stay right here. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Walk-In Truth Home Educators with 50 points. Our team from James River High School with 90 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And a reminder for our teams that you will lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. And there's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. From Yiddish, chutzpah is defined as extreme self-confidence. Spell chutzpah. Leah. H-U-T-S-P-A. That is correct. That is one of the acceptable spellings that we are taking. Yes, chutzpah. During the Middle Ages, Greek and Roman Catholics, classics rather, were preserved because they had been translated into what language? Harry. Oh. Harry? Um, uh, French. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Lucas? Latin. Latin is correct, or Arabic. They may occupy 90% of a mature plant cell where they preserve cell structure by regulating turgor pressure. Name these membrane-bound sacs filled with fluid. Kendon. Uh, xylem. That is incorrect. James River? Leah? Vacuole. Vacuole is correct. What author dedicated his novel Moby Dick to Nathaniel Hawthorne? Leah. Herman Melville. Correct. Dwight D. Eisenhower was one of only two men who graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point to become President of the United States. Who was the other? Kendon. This is S. Grant. Correct. In Shakespeare's historical drama, King John, the author fails to even allude to what 1215 landmark event? Harry. Uh, the signing of Magna Carta. Correct. The fictional characters of wildlife ambassador Ranger Rick and Marvel's Rocket are what type of animals? Simeon. Raccoon. Raccoon is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains, Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before answering. Which river is the Chesapeake Bay's largest tributary? Gabriel. James River. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Lucas. Emick River. It's the Susquehanna River. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Looking at the minute hand on a clock between 2 o'clock and 2.50 p.m., how many degrees are covered by the sweep of the minute hand? And that would be 300 degrees.
It is the energy in a system that cannot do work. What is this term associated with the second law of thermodynamics that is a measure of a system's disorder? Leah. Entropy. Correct. The Greatest, Young and Beautiful, and Video Games are all songs by what American singer-songwriter, Gabriel? Lana Del Rey. Correct. <laughs> what is the phase of the moon for a total solar eclipse? Leah. New moon. New moon is correct. What is the five-letter term for the rear of a boat? Harry. Uh, the stern. Correct. The February and October revolutions occur occurred in what year in which the Bolsheviks seized power in Russia and unseated Tsar Nicholas II? Harry. 1917. Correct. Along with solid, liquid, and gas, what is the fourth form of observable matter? Harry. Uh, plasma. Correct. During the Civil War, it continued to be enforced on behalf of border state residents until repealed in 1864. Harry. Uh, slavery. That is incorrect. What law, part of the Compromise of 1850, mandated federal help in returning escaped bondsmen to their masters? Walk in truth. Um, Kendon. The Fugitive Slave Act. That is correct. After the Civil War, this superintendent of nurses helped arrange dignified burial for thousands of POWs at Andersonville. Name this founder of the American Red Cross. Gabriel. Susan B. Anthony. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. That would be Clara Barton. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value for our teams. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round. Our team from Walk in Truth Home Educators with 90 points. Our team from James River High School with 180 points. For this final toss-up round, we're doubling the point score for our teams, but we're also doubling the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finished reading the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. What 1984 James Cameron movie tells the story of a self-aware AI system called Skynet that subsequently goes rogue? Kendon. Terminator. Correct. In a standard deck of cards, there are three one-eyed face cards. The Jack of Hearts is one. Name either of the other two. Leah. The Queen of Clubs. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Lucas. Jack of Diamonds. That is incorrect. It's the King of Diamonds and the Jack of Spades. Muammar Gaddafi was the longtime leader of what North African country in which Benghazi is located? Harry. Morocco. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Lucas. Egypt. It's Libya. The hydraulics within this kind of system controls the clutches and bands that operate the planetary gear set. Since the single gear set can produce every needed ratio, there's no need for a clutch pedal. Name this feature that has largely replaced the manual transmission. Kendon. Automatic transmission. Correct. During the Hellenistic age, it was called Philadelphia. What is the current name for this most populous and capital city of Jordan? Harry. Ah, uh, shoot. No answer, we'll go to walk in truth. And that would be the city of Amman. Stephen Chu was the first Nobel laureate in physics to be a member of the president's cabinet. Hiring the best people, what cabinet position did Chu hold in the Obama administration? Gabriel. Secretary of State. That is incorrect, walk in truth. Lucas. Secretary of Treasury. He was Secretary of Energy. The last group to accomplish this feat did so in December 1972, at which time they took the so-called Blue Marble Photograph. Name this feat first performed by the astronaut crew of Apollo 11. Simeon. Took a picture of the Earth. That is incorrect. James River. Harry. Walking on the moon. That is correct. The moon landing or walking on the moon. Fuchsia is a vivid purplish red color. Spell fuchsia. 
Leah. F-U-C-I-A. That is incorrect. Walk in truth. Simeon? F-U-S-C-H-I-A. It's actually F-U-C-H-S-I-A, fuchsia. In negative beta decay, these particles decompose into an antineutrino, an electron, and a proton. Name these uncharged nuclei. Leah. Neutrons. Correct. The 1936 Summer Olympics was held in Berlin, Germany. What American track and field star upset Adolf Hitler and his idea of Aryan superiority by winning four gold medals? Gabriel. Jesse Owens. Correct. On November 2nd, 1917, the British Foreign Secretary announced that his government would support the establishment of a Jewish state or homeland in Palestine. By what name is this declaration known? Leah. Israeli Palestine. <laughs> no, but that sounds good. That's incorrect. Walk in truth. It's called the Balfour Declaration. What king married the 14-year-old daughter of Maria Theresa, employed the finance minister Jacques Necker, and was beheaded by Jacobins in 1793? Harry. Uh, king Louis XVI. That is correct. Meg and Charles Wallace Murray traveled to Kamazots to, via Tesseract to free their scientific fa scientist father who had been captured by it in what 1962? <coughs> Leah. Excellent time. Correct. 1962 book by Madeline Lengel. And that buzzer means the end of our game while our judges double check the final score. Here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Benedictine College Preparatory versus Hermitage High School. And here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 130 points, our team from Walk in Truth Home Educators. A great job today by Josiah, Simeon, Lucas, and Kendon. And we wish you best of luck in the future. Our winners of our game today here on Battle of the Brains, the team from James River High School. Final score, 280 points. Great match today by Lorelai, Gabriel, Harry, and Leah. And we will see you as Battle of the Brains continues this season. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. And we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529.